uh, this is Alexis von Craven here from my uh, from my studio, and today we're gonna have a lesson on stretches. Stretching your hands is really important. Stretching your muscles before a show, and I gotta tell you that before I wasn't really sure about it. Um, for many many years, I've heard even doctors and and other professionals saying that it wasn't the best. Uh, choice to stretch your muscles you know it was it was just too violent for your muscles and your joints then I kept researching and I and I saw all the drummers playing and they were doing that so I kept asking and it was until one time that I had the chance to see it with uh, Tony Royster Jr. he came he came on a, on a clinic with Roland in, in Canada so I could I could meet him and I could talk to him for about five minutes. We were talking about many things and one of the things we were discussing was stretching. Now, there it caught my attention because Tony Royster is one of my favorite drummers, right? So he told me that he was playing with JC and he was doing this, this show and he just started tensing so much that he couldn't keep playing. He went to the doctor and the doctor told him you have to start stretching your muscles. So he had to start stretching because he didn't, he wasn't used to, to do it, right? Now after he taught me that, I kept researching a little bit more and it is true. You have to stretch. So it is really important that now I do it. I do it every time that I have a show. If I can, I, I try to take just 15 minutes for myself before a show and warm up. Sometimes it's not possible but it's always good to do it, right? Or at least try to do it. Now, uh, one of the exercises Tony, Tony uh, taught me in that short meeting, I don't want you guys to think that, I'm, that we were huge friends, I hope so, but no, that's not the case. I just talked to him for those five minutes. Anyway, one of the exercises that, that he was teaching was this. Really interesting, really good one. This is when you were just you haven't started anything. This is this is right away when you grab your sticks for the first time during the day or your practice routine or whatever it is, right? So you grab your sticks like this and then right hand is gonna go inside, right? So you're gonna twist your right hand like this and you're gonna pull a little bit, little by little. You don't have to go too crazy about it because you're stretching and stretch means that little by little you're gonna pull your muscles in a way that they're gonna they're gonna start relaxing to the effort you're doing right when you do this you're gonna feel these muscles are the ones you're stretching so we go back to the same position and then left hand is gonna do the same thing back and stretch you stretch little by little go back Again, right hand, a little bit more. Back, left hand, a little bit more. You're gonna feel the stretch. Again, don't go too crazy. This is just stretching. You don't have to prove anything, right? You don't wanna harm yourself or, or have an injury. So just stretch, it has to be comfortable. A couple times like this. You're gonna feel a nice sensation, right? Just keep doing. You don't really have to be like this five minutes. It's just, you know, as long as you, as you feel comfortable and you feel that your muscles are stretched. So that's the first one. Second exercise, it's, it's uh, somebody told me that maybe hockey players were doing this. I can't remember, some, some, uh, some sport they do this, right? So. We grab the sticks like this and we're gonna warm up our wrists with this movement, right? Again, it's, it's uh, you don't have to do it for five minutes, a couple minutes is fine. You're gonna feel the, 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 the warming up of your joints, which is what we're trying to achieve, right? We don't want just to sit down to, in the drums and start playing because you will get more tired than, than you need to, right? You're gonna spend more energy, all right? So now that we're warm up, 
it's time to warm the balls or feet. And same thing, you know, feet and hand, it's the same thing, because you just have to sit down and maybe playing singles in your leg, right? You can, you can use your leg as a practice pad. Doubles or parallels. With those three rudiments, you're warming up. This is not about speed. This is not about how strong you are or how, how much strength you're using. This is just warming up. And you can do the same thing when you sit down on, 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 your, on your practice pads. If you have a uh, basic practice pads, well, you just go uh, singles and then doubles and then parallels, depending on what you are, what you are, what you feel most comfortable. This is not you practicing. This is you warming up. So maybe singles, doubles. all you need and take take 15 minutes or take five minutes or take some time for you just to do it and avoid future injuries I hope you like the lesson uh, subscribe to the channel if you like the lessons and on YouTube Facebook we're also on Facebook as uh, facebook.com slash drummer school it's the Alexis von Craven drummer school I invite you to follow us on the internet or if you're in the Toronto area Toronto Canada you can come and have a lesson with me, no problem. Everything's on the description of the video. And I see, I'll see you guys really soon. Take care.